before teachers even entered their classes on Monday. The Ministry of Education issued a media release letting the public know that most schools were open and accepting students today. Now, according to the ministry, all 57 serve all ECCE centers were reopened, the 143 government and government-assisted centers, as well as the 452 primary and 125 secondary schools were all reopened. The ministry also confirmed the resumption of both the school feeding and the PTSE's transport programs. St. George's College was one of the few outliers reopened for orientation for only Forms 1 and 2. For the next two days, workers will complete the minor repacking of the staff room, art room, and a few specialty rooms. For Holy Faith Convent Penal, ongoing roof repairs means Forms 2 and 3 will rotate attendance over the next two weeks. All other forms are expected to attend the school as scheduled. President of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, Martin Lumpkin, isn't happy. He believes there was enough time to make the repairs during the July-August vacation. To have students now on a rotation, it, it is, it is um, demoralizing to the students, parents and our educators. The ministry says repairs will continue at over 60 schools, with additional projects set to begin in September and more will continue as necessary during the school year. According to the ministry, the annual budgetary allocation for emergency repairs was exceeded by May 2024 due to the volume of repairs required at schools. Monday was also a big day for 23 Venezuelan students who also finally got accepted into local schools. We spoke to a mother, Phoebe Mendez, who said her daughter Brianna was very happy to attend the Curab Fatima RC school after waiting five years. Previously, she attended the Living Water community where she learned to speak English. Every year we tried to find a school, but we couldn't. We tried, but we couldn't. And it's very difficult to pay for private school. She said she is grateful that her daughter can attend a public school. Mendes told CNC3 News that her daughter got her shoes and backpack donated, and she saved and purchased all her books. Brianna couldn't wait. She told me that she was very happy even though she has to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Carissa Lee, CNC3 News.